I got some stuff. That's Gucci, Ferragamo, Mamba. I'm not trying to make you jealous, but like also I am. Okay. Japan and today I'm gonna take you around with me. We're gonna go thrift shopping. Thrifting in Japan is like it's so good because the quality is amazing here. You can find designer pieces that have been like barely worn and it'll be a fraction of the price. I don't know, I think it's just the culture here. It's substantially price cut because it's used and not necessarily because of the quality, just because it's used period. And it comes with a box, a dust bag, all of the things, and it still would be much cheaper than in the US, for example. So if you ever in Japan, highly recommend that you check out thrift shops, vintage shops, all of the shops, just go check it out, it's so good. Look at the disrespect. That's Gucci, that's Ferragamo, that's Lanvin. Crazy. Look at this vintage Gucci. It's so beat up, but like how cute. I found these cute little Mary jeans. It's some Italian brand. But look at the price for the Gucci. The Gucci sandals are like 15 bucks. I mean, unfortunately it's super beat up. I tried the Gucci ones on just to see. I don't know how this person wore these. They're so painful. But this person wore the shit out of these. Wait, 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 wait. Remember I was like, oh, it's some Italian brand. <laughs> Look at this. They're Ferragamos. Are you seeing this? Um, yeah, I'm getting them. They fit me perfect and they're so comfortable. No, 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 no. I wanted to show you guys proof that price does not dictate quality. Look at the stitching on the buttons. And that anything that's embroidered like this and has like eyelets like this is like really hard to replicate on a mass fast fashion scale. And you can tell by the stitching, the stitching quality as well, once again. And look, it's 500 yen, which means it's like $2. So don't get influenced by the price. This is a great dress. It would never fit my waist, but it's beautiful. I feel like from when I was in school, I learned a lot about fabric and fabric quality and weaving and stitching and fast fashion stitching versus couture. So I feel like I can like literally look at a rack, just stand there without touching anything. Like I can tell like which one's of a higher quality or which one's gonna be designer. But if you're not used to it yet, you just gotta touch everything. Just touch the fabric, touch the leathers, touch the non-leathers, touch all the fake stuff. And then eventually you can kind of like pick out what's what's high quality or not. So ignore the price tag because a lot of the times things will be expensive for no reason or they'll be cheap for no reason. And there's a lot to do with like brand equity and all of that. And that affects the pricing. But I generally don't, I don't care about the brand if the quality is there. And if it's like $10 or $100, then I can tell when it's worth it. So my advice would be to just touch everything. You can tell this is real linen. And then this one's like a polyester pretending to be. <laughs> For example, this t-shirt. So these two t-shirts, if you touch it, the cotton's heavier. And just the overall stitching is a better quality. And then this one is like light and flimsy and super thin. Like the stitching is not cool. Those are like little tiny subtle differences and they're like the same price. <laughs> this is like super well made. Can you see like the stitching is basically perfect. And this 
is real leather. You can tell because of all the delicate scratches on it. So real leather, especially one that's old, scratches very easily. Shut up. Okay, let me talk to you guys. So my phone died. I was like super pissed because I found a bunch of other stuff. The men's section was lacking, so I'm just gonna have to do another thrifting video for you guys. But I got some stuff. So let's try on some stuff. And what should we do first? Should we do bags? Actually, I'm gonna save the best for last. So in the past, I was a creative director and a VP, and I basically rebranded companies that wanted to go from low to mid-tier to the luxury industry. I'm sharing that to say a lot of the things that you see in the price point has the brand equity factored into that final retail price. So for me, when I go thrifting, or when I go shopping, period, and I'm not familiar with the brand, I'm really just looking for quality. Like the price is not gonna always tell me, but you know, does the quality back it up? Does the stitching and the construction back it up and more often than not it doesn't some top tier designers like louis and gucci the quality of course is there too of course there's also like a buffer in that price point because then the brand equity and what they're known for how they are placed in the fashion industry factors in that final retail amount sharing that to say a lot of these pieces like literally there was a dress it was like an embroider it had eyelid and it was two dollars <laughs> I feel like a lot of the times we get lost in the materialistic sense of like, oh, if it was expensive, then it's good quality. It kind of puts you in this like weird social status in a way, um, but that's not always the case. So I urge you to take a closer look, touch fabrics, touch different materials, get used to like what is authentic, go into like a super expensive designer house, right? So walk into a Louis Vuitton and touch everything. Like real material, high quality, high end, well designed, well built pieces, and then put them on if you can, like see the weight of the fabric. You'll start getting used to seeing like the difference in quality between fabrics and materials, understanding prints, and understanding construction and stitching because those are the things that makes a designer piece high-end and because of the design behind the pattern making and then you'll get used to understanding like oh okay this is like this feels cheap or this feels like poorly made for some reason it's you know $300 and then as you get to know designer pieces too you'll probably be able to pick them apart like I can pick out a Nisei Miyake like a mile away he just has a very particular way of how he constructs and things and he had fabrics that he really loved and so a lot of his tops are like really identifiable but anyways and no talking I hope that's helpful because I think a lot of times we get overwhelmed when we go into these stores that are not like necessarily organized kind of have to deal with 90% of it is gonna be pretty cheap and poor quality all of those tips are helpful so that when you walk in you can kind of just scan and see like oh that's good fabric right there you know you ready? He is so cute! If it's my phone and my wallet, maybe. Really great quality. Like, look at that. All right, I'm out of breath. I get out of breath when I'm excited. <laughs> that's what we get, probably. Okay. That's it, girl. Are you seeing this? Let me tell you how disrespectful this store is with designer stuff. This was literally thrown on top of a pile. This was not behind a glass case at all. You know what happens with society? This is like so in line with my previous point. When you tell some, even though this is an authentic Gucci bag, right? It came authenticated. If I tell people I paid $5 for this, all of a sudden there's some people that's going to be like, Oh, she's cheap. Or, Oh, that must be fake then. Or, Oh, she's one of those that like gets her designer stuff from Crusty Thrift Shop. Like, you know there are people out there that think this way. One, I don't give a foot. Two, I think it's problematic for the conversations behind designer pieces and how it parallels with like social status. But that's a whole other rant. Okay, here's the other bag that I bought. I thought it was such a good find because one, it's leather. So it's a leather and canvas combination. They either scratches on the leather itself, which means it's real leather, but the overall silhouette of the bag was cool and I feel like it's pretty versatile because it feels casual, but it like is special at the same time because the handle is unique, the stripes with the leather combo, and I like the colors are just so yummy and I feel like it, it's actually pretty neutral. So this is suede. You can tell it's real suede because it's scratch. I don't want to scratch it, but it scratches easily. It's also just nice and thick, like fake, or or poor quality suede is usually like very flimsy and then there's some like little flyaway stitching uh, but again I'm really I'm not being picky about that because of the price so the construction of the bag is awesome I think it makes it really unique the lining has a suede 
There's pockets and branded lining as well. Here's the logo again. It's just, and it has a back pocket. It's just so like well made. So this bag was 1600 yen, which, don't kill me, is about maybe 11 or 12. Look at the detail on this. tips out of this please consider liking and subscribing and i hope you feel a little bit more confident in like finding good quality high-end pieces and ignoring the price tag once again not always indicative of quality does not always represent quality sometimes the quality is really up there and then the price is like somewhere where it's kind of shocking like this was a two dollar dress and i'll see you in the next one bye